Hey, Shelton. Yeah? Have you thought about what you're gonna say to him? Uh, I don't know. It's kind of scary. I don't even know these people. I don't even know him. Ugh, this whole thing's been giving me headaches. Have you ever thought about taking the easy way out? Yeah. You know, people that kill themselves feel like they don't matter. Like they don't exist. Like they're nothing. And by saying that you can kill yourself, put an end to your existence, would be admitting that you do exist, that you do matter. Shit on the point. <laughs> he always said he wanted to go out and hail a gunfire, huh? Yeah. Just like a cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, it's Rob, and I thought I'd make a quick video because I happened to catch a clip from Jimmy Kimmel last night. Uh, with Norman Reedus uh, talking about the last day of shooting on The Walking Dead. And I was actually there. Uh, when that happened, I was working as a microphone boom operator. I do sound for film and TV projects here in Atlanta. And one of my jobs for the last, I don't know, five, six years now, was uh, kind of filling in on The Walking Dead here and there when they needed a little bit of extra help. In the sound department, we would come in and uh, kind of clean up some scenes that they hadn't finished, uh, that sort of thing. It's called second unit, so it's not the main unit of the show that shoots most of the uh, footage, but we just come in and kind of tie up some loose ends. And uh, in that capacity, I've been on that show for many days over the last, like I said, five or six years. And as it happened to be, we were there for the last day of filming, which was very heavy very emotional, um, even though I was not a full-time player on the show. Like I said, I, you know, put in my hours on that show. And obviously, you know, there was just a lot of uh, just emotional, uh, you know, weight to these final scenes. And then people at the end came up and gave speeches and things like that. So uh, it was, you know, kind of a lucky break to be there on the last day and an honor to be, you know, part of this show that had been shooting for 12 years, to be there on the last day. But anyway, the reason I'm making this video is besides being there on the last day, I was also there on Norman Reedus's first day of shooting, I think, on his first film. Oh, Jesus. Larry. So what's up? Same shit, different ass. Well, after Wednesday, man, you are not going to have to worry about a job. Yeah, or Laura. Or your mom. Or how about screw all of you? How much are we going to get paid, Stan? Well, according to my calculations. Oh, yeah, that's valid. Yeah, eat me. I estimate about 2000 which breaks down to about 500 each. You know, give or take a few. And I'll call you up later, and I'll, I'll tell you what's going down. Right, right. Uh, so you coming by for dinner tonight? Oh, I can't. Laura already made me a sandwich today. I'm gonna use that for your meal ticket. I hear you. Man, after Wednesday, this town ain't never gonna be the same. Yeah, that's a relief. After 17 years, it kind of loses its charm. No oh, shit. We need to get out of here. Go where? Uh, I was the sound mixer on that. It happened to be maybe uh, at some point in the mid-90s that I ended up getting a job on this film, and one of the actors on it happened to be Norman Reedus, which I believe I've read was his first film. He was around 25. It's possible he did something earlier, but this is a little indie film. Matter of fact, as far as I know, it never really got completed. I saw a screening of it after we did it, and then... Nothing happened. And that, you know, is uh, the case for many of the indie films I worked on back in the mid-90s. They would get to a point where they'd run out of money or they would kind of get the film edited but then have nowhere to really show it or they would shop it around or take it to film festivals and wouldn't get much attention for it. And they would just kind of disappear. This was before wonderful YouTube that I'm on right now, before we had a way to uh, put anything up for at least someone to have a chance to see it. And that's what happened with this movie, which was called Davis is Dead. Keep writing those postcards. You know, Sheldon, I, I gotta say, 
I'm gonna miss you. It's not often you meet a kindred spirit. God, this world is a beautiful place. again we shot it maybe around 1996 i want to say i seem to remember it was during the rodney king uh trial maybe the rodney king verdict with the police officers who were you know let off the hook at the end and uh, we had uh you know rioting and social upheaval and things like that going on so i think it was during that period it wasn't uh initially when uh, Rodney King was beaten by the police, but it was at the end after they had had the trial for the police officers. So whenever that was happening, I think that's when we were shooting. Davis is dead. Again, as far as I understand it, this was Norman Reedus's first movie. He plays, uh, I think he had uh, diabetes. He was a character named Larry, I think. And uh, he would walk around with a little honey pot so if his sugar got low, he could take a little uh, finger full of honey or whatever. And uh, this was a typical kind of indie caper film. You got to remember, like, Quentin Tarantino was very popular at the time. So a lot of people were making these edgy kind of crime spree movies. That's what this was, like four kids on the run from the law. They were driving around, knocking off liquor stores, and they hook up like with this like hardened career criminal. That's what I understand it to be. Um, again, it's a very long time ago. I haven't seen the film in 30 years, except for a few clips, which are on YouTube, which I borrowed for this video. But uh, so, yeah, I just thought it was an interesting story that there I was for the last day of filming on Walking Dead, I think those episodes are coming out now or coming out soon. The last stuff we ever filmed for Walking Dead uh, in Atlanta. And also I was there for Norman Reedus' first movie. He's a nice guy. Uh, I've mentioned a couple times that I was the sound mixer on this movie, Davis is Dead. He seems to kind of want to keep it at a distance at this point. He has, of course, moved on in his life, as we all have. And... Uh, you know, so after I mentioned it once or twice, I let it drop. But uh, I don't want to keep bugging him about it. But he's a very nice guy. Of course, he's a, you know, very, uh, you know, established uh, character actor. And, uh, of course, does a great job uh, as Daryl on The Walking Dead. And they're going to spin him off into another series, I believe, which I heard is going to take place in Paris. So who knows, Daryl will live on in uh, some fashion. And uh, as far as Davis is dead, well, you'll never see that. So it never, uh, you know, made it to the finish line. And that happened to a lot of movies. It was very expensive back then. You were shooting on film. You had to edit. You had to, you know, put the soundtrack together. And uh, just all the expense at the end of the film usually was too much for people who were financing these movies on their credit cards. Typically, they'd get 10 credit cards. They'd get, you know, $10,000 limit on each credit card, and then they would just fill up those credit cards, go bankrupt, run out of money, and never finish the film. And that's what happened. Anyway, so I thought it'd be fun to kind of look at some of the footage there, and uh, you can see what Norman Reedus looked like at the beginning of his career. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, we're going to need to refuel soon. Yeah, I know. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm mad gas. How much we got left? Uh, about half a quarter of a tank. It's sucking us dry. Who? Oh. Gas. It's a shitload since that fucking war. I hate war. Yeah, me too. Let's just shoot the shit out of the store and we'll just take the money. We don't have a gun, peckerhead. We got enough for some food. That should tide us over until the next town. Yeah, I'm not that hungry anyways. <clears throat>